Welcome to Up On Game Presents, Keeping Pace With Skill. And now, here again, LeVar Arrington. Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome into another exciting edition of Up On Game Presents, Keeping Pace With Skill. Right now, we're in Richmond, VA. We're at my guy's spot, all right? We're, we're, we're in the park. You know what I mean, we're, as you would call. And, and we're at Bryan Park Bar and Grill. I'm with Chris and Amy, the owners and creators and openers and all that good stuff of this fine establishment. Appreciate having you guys on the show. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for on. having us. Yes, this is good. So, obviously, I'm here because I enjoy and love and, and realize the importance of supporting small businesses giving the small business owners the opportunity to have a voice, to speak on things that can help, things that are important to, to the success of what the business represents. You've just opened up your establishment. Well, I, if I got it correct, nine days old. Let, yeah. let's, yes. let's get a little, let's get a little <laughs> clap on that one, huh? Thank you. All right. Thank you. Let's start here. How has it been? <laughs> Community support has been phenomenal. Um, it's overwhelming at times, but the community come together, support us, and um, basically it's just been a whirlwind. Been a so, whirlwind. yes. What about you? How do you feel about it? it? It has been overwhelming. It's been wonderful to see the different clientele come in every night. Uh, we've had a packed house every night. Uh, so we just love Lakeside and the community. So it's been wonderful. It's been good. That's awesome. So. I gotta ask, you're a part of, you've been a part of East Coast uh, Amusements, Correct. and obviously I work with Taysomatic, um, Queen Games, VA yes. Skills, Virginia Skills, and the support and, and the idea of what the games bring to, to small businesses, did, did that have any bearing on you wanting to take on the venture of opening up a, a restaurant in a spot? It did, because um, that really helps generate income. Um, people love the games, and it helps offset, you know, being able to hire more help, um, give people more jobs. Um, there's a lot of places I know if they didn't have these games that would pretty much go under. Talk to me about that. So, because I, I think sometimes that gets lost in translation. How exactly do these games benefit a, an established so much where they can actually continue to keep their doors open? Um, it, it helps them hire people, um, pay the rent, um, basically buy a product. Uh, it just helps them offset cost. Mm -hmm. um, it's, like I said, a lot of stores I know would close up if they were gone. Mm -hmm. So, but I mean, we hope they'll keep them around. They keep them around. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I agree. So you guys have, uh, and we're going to do a donation today as well, but you guys have been already active in supporting the local communities. Just talk a little bit about how important that is for you guys to be able to support the, the local community and, and the organizations within your community you're serving. Well, after the support we saw um, coming in, we reached out to Lake, Lakeside Youth Baseball, which I played down there many years ago. Um, and to sponsor a team and a field, um, just so they know we'll give back. I mean, they show us support, so we're willing to show everybody around here support. What do you think? Yes, absolutely, and Chris and I both grew up playing sports, and so we feel it's important to continue to give back to the youth football programs, the youth baseball programs, um, so it's exciting. If, if you guys were to what, let's choose a sport. Basketball. Can you shoot a basketball? Yes. Can you shoot I was a basketball? A three if you guys point. were to play one on one, uh, Chris would win. Oh, he would win. Okay. <laughs> What's your sport? What's your sport? I grew up playing softball. If. I also played football. Oh, wow. Yes. If you guys were to do an Oklahoma drill in football, <laughs> <laughs> who would win the battle of the Oklahoma drill? Have to be my wife, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> have to be Amy. 
This is a wise man. I want to sleep with both eyes closed both, tonight. Both closed. Yes. Both closed. Yes. And I and I understand that. All right. So let's talk a little bit more about skill games. You have a like I mentioned. You you work for an amusement, obviously yes. East Coast. So you guys have a firm understanding of the games. Yes. There's always this ongoing debate. Now for me, I always say people ask me, well. It's gambling, like, <gasps> and I say to them, when I play a game like chess, I'm a big chess player. I'm not gambling when I play that game. I have played that game since I was nine years old, and my success or failures on that board is my ability and my skill level to move those pieces. Thank you. I challenge you guys, tell me how that's different from the skill games that you use in your in your building. Is there a difference or is it is it gambling to use a a skill game? Not really. I think you can um yeah you can always check next puzzle. Mm -hmm. Um there's a pattern if you realize and remember the pattern like memory, um you get your playback and you mm -hmm. can keep on going. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not paying attention you could miss something. Like like a skill. Yes. yes. Like yes, if you're so not paying skill. attention to what the proper play call is, you Correct. might mess up the play. Correct. It's mm -hmm. like it's the awareness and then the execution of, of the skill that leads to you having the success in playing the game. Yes. Correct. And that's how it was explained to you and that's yes. why you were moving the product. Correct. Moving the machines. Correct. The terminals. Yes. To the places. Yes. Sir. That you take it. Yes. And you did well doing it. Yes. And you still do it. I enjoy it. And you service them. Yes, sir. And you still service them. Yes, sir. To this day. Yes, sir. Because you're a special guy. Yes, sir. I, I mean, I'm telling you what, I mean, wow, is he amazing? Is Chris amazing? All right, so I'm, I'm going to finish off with this. All right, this one is, is, a, is an easy one. This is a lob. This is a slow okay. lob. Now, they say hitting softballs are harder than hitting baseballs. So I'm just saying, I mean, so for you to have been a good softball player, there's something to that. And what you guys are doing here at, at, at your, your establishment and, and having the opportunity to be a part of, of this community, one of the things that jumped out at me when I came in here to do the interview today was your entire family is, is a part of what you guys are doing. Yes. From, from grandmama, which we call <laughs> mama, but it's, she's grandma. Correct. To the daughters, yeah. which are the sister, to the nieces. Yes. yes. How important is that to be able to create a legacy like that where the opportunity within an establishment the longevity of this is what will one day niece Kayla yes. will most likely run the run the store, run run the facility. How important is it to create that level of legacy and longevity for what you guys do? Just to be around the community. Just basically just make your mark and live and love the community. And so one of the things this was always Chris's dream and his grandfather always backed him in this, and so I know he'd be proud to have something to pass down. And then you can pass it down. Yes. Mm -hmm. You almost made, I got, I, I, I know. I, know. I, did, I was, I was I trying to not to well up. You're welling <laughs> I up. I know. I'm welling up. Yes. But let me tell you something. The importance of building a legacy, I, I mean, to me, you don't lose that in, in small businesses, right? Uh, right. That's, in fact, that is the lifeblood of what small businesses represent. Correct. Is being able to leave something and share it with the people you love and care about. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think you guys are tremendous. I think you guys are Thank awesome. You. And Thank I wish you guys all the luck in the world. And I'm, I'm glad we had the opportunity to come do this in yes. your establishment. I wish you guys all the best. So Thank we, you so we much. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. You. Yes. All right. Thank you. Go. All right. Well, after a chair jerking moment, <laughs> it's time to smile and wrap up the show. This is Up On Game presents, uh, yeah, keeping pace with skill. I'm LeVar Arrington. That's Amy. That's Chris. Until next time, we'll catch up with you guys.